The dramatic footage of Ukrainian troops storming a Russian trench in Humvees has surfaced, recorded by a heavy weapons specialist in one of the vehicles. The video shows them dashing towards the Russian situations while setting out a brutal measure of discharge from the 50 type firearms mounted upon them. The Ukrainian military also released drone footage of the attack, confirming that the troops belonged to the 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade in the Donetsk region, near Avdiiv. Let's liberate Donetsk as well. We liberated Kherson. In a Facebook post, it wrote, Soldiers from the 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade, which is named after Yakov Hanziuk, advanced the front line recently and captured an adversary position facing Avdiiv. The attack is part of a significant uptick in attacks against Ukrainians over the past week, which President Zelensky confirmed on Saturday is the anticipated counteroffensive. During the first week of a new phase of Ukraine's counteroffensive to recapture Russian-occupied territories, the country made relatively modest but potentially significant gains in four areas of the 1,000-kilometer front line. Mechanized infantry units, some of which have received training from NATO allies, have primarily used Western military equipment, such as tanks and fighting vehicles, in probing attacks in the Ukrainian offensive. been centered around an area along the administrative boundary of the Zaporizhia slash Donetsk Oblast, southwestern Zaporizhia Oblast, and the long winning battlegrounds in the central Donetsk Oblast around Bakhmut and Avdiivka. Media have visually confirmed the permanent or temporary loss of at least 10. Ukrainian fighting vehicles for the first week of the new phase of the counteroffensive. Some local units provide unattributed information, but the Ukrainian military does not provide any information on losses or comment on the tactical aspects of ongoing operations. In its daily report on Saturday, the British Ministry of Defense, MOD, gave an assessment of the Russian military's performance against Ukrainian attacks this week. The performance of Russia has been mixed, despite increasing reports of Russian casualties as they withdraw through their own minefields. Some units are probably conducting credible maneuver defense operations while others have pulled back in some disorder. Ukrainian forces have likely made good progress, the Ministry of Defense stated, and penetrated the first line of Russian defenses in some areas. Although President Zelensky stated on Saturday afternoon that counteroffensive action is underway against Russian forces, he did not provide any additional information. Kiev has been secretive about ongoing offensive actions, and there is no media present at the front lines. Russian sources have made a big deal out of photos and videos of abandoned and destroyed Ukrainian tanks and vehicles in the western Zaporizhia Oblast. They say that because they include a number of Leopard tanks and Bradley fighting vehicles supplied by the West, it shows that a main counteroffensive attempt didn't work. Losses are inevitable in any military operation, according to Ukrainian officials and Western analysts. On Friday, Hanna Maliar, the deputy defense minister, stated that military equipment that cannot be destroyed has not yet been invented. The General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on June 13th that Russia had lost thousands of soldiers since the start of the war in Ukraine. The update stated that Russia had lost 34,530 soldiers, 1,511 tanks, 2,583 armored fighting vehicles, 732 artillery systems, 232 multiple rocket launchers, 98 anti-aircraft systems, 217 warplanes, 188 helicopters, 642 drones, 143 cruise missiles, 13 ships, 2,208 motor vehicles and fuel tankers, and 55 units of special equipment. The update also stated that Russia had suffered significant losses in terms of personnel. The Ukrainian military said that Russia had lost 12 generals and 50 colonels since the start of the war. The Ukrainian military's update is based on its own intelligence and is not independently verified. However, the update is consistent with other reports of Russia's losses in Ukraine. Ukrainian troops pledged on Sunday that they would soon resume the battle after their U.S. made. Bradley armored vehicles were damaged or destroyed during an assault on Russian positions last week, as Ukraine's 47th Brigade launched an offensive southeast of Zaporizhia on Thursday as part of a fresh attempt to reclaim some territory from Russia. 
A group of Bradley fighting vehicles supported by German-made Leopard tanks came under fire. On Russian propaganda channels, drone footage of the ambush showed several vehicles being hit. The majority of their Bradleys had been destroyed, according to a group of Ukrainian soldiers taking a break from the fighting, just outside the small town of Orakiv in the southern region of Zaporizhia. Six of the nine vehicles that were part of the group's mechanized infantry unit, not the only one that was in the battle, were destroyed. Three were damaged but could be fixed, and one was unharmed. The gathering said Russian powers had been admonished, having provoked the Ukrainians the night prior to the fight over their radios, and they thought somebody had spilled data. Found out if they had caught any ground notwithstanding going under such weighty fire. One of the warriors held up his finger and thumb in a signal to show tiny advancement. Although no casualty figures have been made public, AFP was informed that the number was lower than what some people had initially feared due to the vehicle's ability to protect themselves even after being disabled. Who would be content to receive those instructions? Go and take those Russian positions that are well protected? A senior officer, who requested anonymity, stated, however, we cannot fail because we are still enraged. Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, confirmed on Saturday that counteroffensive and defensive actions are taking place alongside Russia's invasion force along the front line. However, Kiev has not elaborated much on its strategy. The 47th Detachment is one of the recently shaped units made in front of the counteroffensive, furnished with Western-provided hardware.